welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be trying on a bunch of new products that I have never tried on before using my August, no, it's September. And I am also going to be using my September BoxyCharm. So I am going to show you guys how to use all of the products in this month's BoxyCharm in a makeup tutorial. And as always, this video is not sponsored by BoxyCharm. None of my BoxyCharm videos are sponsored. I do them because I want to do them. So this is a look that I came up with. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I have a very natural cut crease, a very glowy face. And yes, I have my long hair on. So if you see any baby hairs or any tracks anywhere, I'm sorry, okay? I'm still kind of getting the hang of the extensions again. As much as I love my short hair, I'm just, I just don't feel myself with it. So the long hair is back at least for a little bit. I want to thank you guys so much for all of the well wishes and prayers for my family and for everyone here in Florida during Hurricane Irma. We did not lose power, thankfully, um, but we did lose cell service, internet, and TV. So that's why I haven't been able to upload in a couple of days, but I am officially back. But thank you so much for all of the warm wishes, the prayers, continuing to ask me if we are okay. I tried to keep you guys updated on Twitter as much much as I could but yeah um, it was definitely a very scary storm but we are okay my family is okay so thank you so much and also thank you for all of the birthday wishes I turned 26 on Thursday I know I am getting old and um, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for the love during my birthday it truly meant so much to me I felt so loved it was one of the best birthdays I've had in a long time. I spent it with my family, just hanging out, very chill, very 26 year old. So that is pretty much it. I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this first impression video slash BoxyCharm unboxing video. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Glossier. This is the Boy Brow. This is kind of like a brow shaper. I have never tried this before. It's supposed to be clear, I believe. Yeah, in the shade clear. I've never tried this before. It's not clear. It is kind of like a white, moussey texture. Um, see that? It's kind of white. But I'm sure by clear, they mean that once you blend it out, it is a clear formula. Um, so this is just like a regular kind of brow shaper, I believe. I don't think it's supposed to do anything special to the brows, just kind of shape them. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I am using the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW25. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of, oh, that literally just like farted on my eye. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and blend that out using a Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. I'm going to apply that all over the eyelids and this is going to be our base for the eyeshadows that we are going to be applying. So now that I have my eyelids primed, I'm going to start picking products from this month's BoxyCharm. I did already open my box because I wanted to take a peek inside to make sure of what other products I needed to pull from my makeup collection in order to create this whole entire look. So yeah, the first product that I am taking from this month's box is this Pure Soray Diaries. This is an eyeshadow palette. Everybody is going to be receiving this in this month's box. This is what it looks like. It is so gorgeous. This palette retails for $34 and the box is $21. So just for this palette, you already paid off your box. And it's a beautiful kind of marbled packaging with rose gold. It is so gorgeous. It's truly, truly a gorgeous palette. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Private Party which is this shade right here. Honestly, the matte shades are like really calling my name. So I think I'm gonna focus my look more. I want my look to be more matte today. I don't think I'm gonna be using any of the shimmer shadows. To set that base, I'm actually gonna go into this color right here, which is called Mogu, Mogu, Mogu? I'm not sure. Um, so I am going to take that. I'm using a Morphe E48. And I am going to put this all over my lid and this is going to help us set that base that we have applied, that concealer. It's 
So going back into the palette, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, which is called called, which is called Gala. It's a pretty brown shade. It's a little bit more on the cool tone, like it does have a little bit more of a rosy undertone, but it's gonna be fine because this is going to be our transition shade. So I'm just going to move my mirror closer. So I like to go in back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And once I have that in my crease, I go in to circular motion just to kind of blend it out. And let me tell you, that is a very pigmented color. I only went in about two times and I got a ton of payoff. Taking my Beauty by Rosita brush, this is a natural haired brush. I don't know if they make this anymore, but if they do, I'm gonna try to find it and link it down below because this is one of my favorite blending brushes ever. I'm gonna go in to the color Splurge, which is a little bit darker than Gala, and it's a little bit more of a warmer tone brown. With that brush, and again, I am just going to take it in the same areas, but I'm keeping it a little bit lower than the color gala I took gala pretty high up but with splurge I'm definitely going to just keep this a little bit lower in the crease so it's gonna be more concentrated I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm going to go into the shade stunner which is a beautiful kind of deep rich kind of reddish brownish color it reminds me a lot of makeup geeks cocoa bear I'm gonna take it with that same brush Pack that baby in there, top off the excess, and again, I'm going to focus it on these same areas, but keeping it nice and low in that crease. We kind of want a gradient effect. So you see how we have that lighter brown up here, then it gets darker, and then it gets a little bit warmer. So make sure you're building up that gradient. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more Gala, which is that first shade that we applied. And I'm just going to run this in my crease just to kind of blend everything together. I'm gonna go in to the shade Snazzy, which is a beautiful, deep, rich brown with some purple undertones. It's not too purple, but it is in there. And I'm going to pick this up using my Kylie brush. I actually really like this brush and I'm going to focus this in the outer corners. I am first tapping that color in there to get it nice and pigmented and concentrated. And then once it's in there, I'm gonna turn my brush to the side and just kind of blend it upwards just a little bit. Okay, so that snazzy color, it's looking a little bit choppy. Like, I don't think it's blending in as nice as the other ones. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more of Stunner. And I'm just going to run this right in between where that color kind of meets and blend it out just a tad bit more. I'm going to go back in with my Select Cover Up Concealer. So I'm on the back of my hand. And I am going to use this to cut my crease a little bit. Um, lately, I've been really into that cut crease, natural cut crease type of look. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to just go ahead and begin to cut my crease. You can follow the natural shape of your crease. You don't have to go up too high. But lately, I've been going just a little bit higher than my natural crease to make that eyeshadow really pop so that I can see it when I'm looking forward. But make sure that you only do half of your lid. You don't want to go ahead and cut the whole entire crease. That's not the look I am going for. If you want to do that, you definitely can. But that's not what I'm going to be doing today. Today, I'm just doing half of my lid only. I'm going to go back in to my palette and I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Socialite. I'm going to take it with a MAC. This is a 280 brush, I think. The number has rubbed off because this is pretty old. Fun fact, this was the first MAC brush I ever bought, I ever owned. I got this when I was 15 years old that my mom bought me a whole set of MAC for my 15th birthday. So fun fact about me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that color, Social Lights, and I am going to just pack this wherever we cut that crease. 
I'm not really liking this color. I definitely wanted something to be a little bit more bright, not this um, opaque kind of color. So I'm going to take Private Party and I'm going to change my brush to the MAC 242. And hopefully this brightens things up a bit. Let's see. in with a little bit more snazzy because I feel like we kind of lost it a little bit with that white and I am going to just kind of focus this right in the outer corner one more time so I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to just kind of blend it in to that white shade to make it kind of like a gradient effect I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of Epic, which is a nice dark brown shade, and I'm taking it with a Sigma E45 tapered brush up here just to kind of add a little bit more smokiness to the look. I'm going to go ahead and take a baby wipe, and I'm going to wipe off any of the excess fallout and really clean that up okay so i am feeling the winged look for this video so i'm going to go ahead and take the blink ultra thin liquid eyeliner pen and i am going to go ahead and create a winged liner i'm going to make this one a little bit more straight Whereas normally I would go up towards my brow, um, towards the, uh, what's it called, the temples. Today I'm going to make it a little bit straighter than normal. Okay, so it's definitely a lot more intense than I was going for, but um, I'm kind of digging it. Not gonna lie so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side <laughs> okay so I went ahead and I applied some lashes I didn't include it because it's not something that I have tried new these are the Coco lashes in the style Amore and this is what they look like they're really nice and wispy and full um, so that is the lash so that's the lashes that I applied I also primed my skin and I applied some concealer to some areas that I needed to correct before we go in with foundation so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and move straight on with the brows this month's box brought an eyebrow pencil in this is from Mac actually I can't believe BoxyCharm has Mac that is crazy um, this retails for $18 it is by Mac cosmetics and it is an eyebrow pencil in the shade spiked I'm not sure if every single box has a different shade to match your hair color the one that came in my box is in the shade spiked so I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows I am going to start off by underlining my brows I have pretty full brows on their own so I really don't need to do too much to my brows but I definitely do have to fill them in just a little bit so I always underline the bottom of my brows and then I start just doing flickery motions on the areas where I have some sparse areas so that is a really good match for my brows I actually really do like it. I think it's really nice and smooth. And it blends really well. Like I don't even feel like I have to brush through my brows. I really do like it. I like the consistency. I like the color of it. I like how smooth it is. I'm happy. I literally broke a nail trying to open this next product. <laughs> this is the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face. This is a foundation brush that we also got in this month's box. And this retails for $28. So we are going to go ahead and give this puppy a try. For today, I am going in with the Cover of X. This is the Cream Foundation. Yes, this is a Total Cream Foundation in G3. 30. Okay, so the brush is really nice. The shape of it is a little weird because it has like a hole on the inside. So that's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it is a really nice foundation brush. I really want to go in and try the center part of it. So I'm going to go in with my Dior Forever foundation. This is also in 030. I'm going to shake it up. Go straight in. I'm going to put one pump on the middle. Can you see that? And then I'm going to buff it out. 
I don't really know how to feel about it because I feel like some of the product is staying in that middle part of the brush but it is blending it out really nice so I do definitely prefer this brush with a liquid foundation and not a cream foundation because it does apply a little bit nicer okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use concealer I don't have a concealer to show you guys like a new concealer so I'm just gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan concealer this is the super natural concealer in EC03 and EC02 go ahead and do a little bit of cream contouring I'm gonna take the Kim Kardashian medium cream contouring stick and I'm going to apply this right here And I'm going to go in with that foundation brush and buff that out to see how it works for cream contouring. Because I really do like the shape of it to kind of blend out your contour. Hmm. That's actually really nice. I love the shape of it. And I think it works great. Wow. I think this is going to be my new favorite contouring brush that's really nice so i am going to go ahead and set my under eyes using the kat von d brightening lock it powder i'm gonna go ahead and take some of my very expensive face powder this is a givenchy harmony powder and i'm going to go ahead and lightly set the rest of my skin i'm gonna go into my bare minerals bare pro contour kit I'm going to take the shade number two that says blend. I'm going to take it with the Bare Minerals Blooming Blush. I love this shade recently and I am just going to use this to kind of bronze the skin a little bit. Okay, so for blush, I am going to be using this Studio Makeup Blush that also came in this month's BoxyCharm in Luminous Loose Blush. And this retails for $35 using my MAC 129 short handle brush I'm gonna smile oh that's really pretty okay so I don't see any luminosity to it I definitely see it nice and matte so I'm not sure what they mean by luminous but it's still a gorgeous color very pretty okay so let's go ahead and finish the under eyes I'm going to go ahead and take the color Splurge with a pencil brush and I'm going to focus this on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take Stunner and I'm going to work this right under there as well. Taking a flat definer brush, I'm going to go in to Snazzy and Epic. I'm going to mix both two together and I'm going to tightly apply this under the lower lashes so, like so I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline gel liner in black and I am going to apply this to my waterline I'm gonna go ahead and take the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm going to apply this to my bottom lashes. To highlight my skin, I am gonna go ahead and take the Nikki Tutorials and Ofra in Glow Gold. This is what this baby looks like. I am so excited to try this. I did swatch it, that's why it's a little bit dirty. So let's go ahead and pop this on. I'm going to go ahead and also take a little bit of this on the chin and on the cupid's bow and tip of the nose. So just to be extra, I'm going to go ahead and take the lightest shade, which is called Glazed 
donut. I'm only going to apply this right in the center and that just takes it to a whole nother level of glow. That is stunning. So only on the center and I'm not going to take this all over my face. I'm only going to apply this one just on the tops of the cheekbones because if I apply it everywhere then it's going to be too white. I just kind of want a pop on the tops of the cheekbones. So Okay, so lastly, we are going to go ahead and move on to lips. I'm going to start off by taking the Ofra and Nikki collaboration. This is in the shade Duchess, and I'm going to apply this all over. Ooh. Right on top, I'm going to go ahead and take this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Little Stitches. And this also came in this month's BoxyCharm, and this retails for $6. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this right on top. So I am going to go ahead and finish everything off by using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. So let's spray our face. Alrighty guys, so that completes this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And that is pretty much it. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.